Hey everyone, welcome back to web for tech In today's video, we'll be showing you how to install Lineage OS and overviewing it of the features it has. So let's begin. As you know, Lineage OS picked up from what CyanogenMod left around December and they built upon their source code. So far, it's been still in the nightly mode just like CyanogenMod was and they're picking it up for the OnePlus 3T. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it today. If you haven't seen the prior video of me unlocking the bootloader and putting the custom recovery TWRP on your phone, go ahead and check that out before installing because you need to unlock the bootloader and install TWRP on your phone. Uh, so my phone already has TWRP and is unlocked with the bootloader. I'm gonna go show you how to go to the recovery the easy way. So what we're gonna do is go to settings. We're gonna go ahead and enable developer options again. So we're gonna go to the build number and tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, I guess and go to the developer options and make sure it's on. And we're gonna go ahead and look for advanced reboot. So we're gonna go ahead and make selection for that and make sure it's on. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is restart the phone, reboot and click recovery. And then one more time to reboot. So it's gonna go ahead and put itself in the recovery for TWRP. While it's doing that, I'll make sure the Download links for the Lineage OS is posted in the description and also the Google app package that you need to have the installation done. Let's see how the installation goes for the Lineage OS on this because as I told you they're still in the nightly build phase and obviously there's going to be bugs and all that stuff. So the phone's putting itself in the recovery. There you go, team win is up. Make sure you download the files directly on the phone or you could download it on the computer and transfer it in the internal storage. It's loading, team win. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my download folder and find the files to do the installation for the Lineage OS. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the Lineage OS file first. It's gonna run, doing the patching system image conditionally. So let it run. And let's see how long that takes. It's still going. I think the reboot is going to take longer than this, so let's wait for that. Adding all the script. Okay. So operating system got installed. I'm going to go ahead and install the gapps package. Just like that. Install over now. Exit. Error code 20. Okay. So... The GF did not get installed, but I'm going to go ahead and reboot the phone to the system. Reboot, and it's going to restart and run Lineage OS. So don't touch anything. Let it reboot itself automatically and load the setup screen. Even if it does that like multiple times, let it do it until the welcome screen comes. I'll make sure I post the G apps the one that works with the Lineage OS because the OpenGS package isn't working. So I'm going to go ahead and post the link that's working in the description. So make sure you check that out and download that one. There you go. The boot finished and the setup loaded for Lineage OS. This is the welcome screen. So we'll go ahead and set it up. Next. Select English. That's correct. Next. Wi-Fi, I'll skip that for right now. Skip anyway. My, tim, my SIM got recognized, so T-Mobile, yes, next. Yes, T-Mobile, cellular data, next. And then I don't want to do that. Go ahead and click next. Set up your finger. No, I don't want to do that. Also skip. Let's just go ahead and go to the home screen. Start. So as you could see, the launcher loaded up and everything. This looks very familiar to Cyanogen mod. Exact same launcher style, same startup option. Everything is similar because they're using their source code. Let's go to the settings and take a look. So this is running Android 7.1.1, Lineage OS 14. Let's go to the about settings. As you can see, Android 7.1.1, and then obviously it's Lineage OS nightly. Let's look a, take a look at some features they have in here. Status bar. The generic uh, cyanogen mod setup, so the clock, let me put it in the center, that works. 
Let's do the AMPM, make it appear. And the battery percentage is working. And then what else they have in their set of buttons. So obviously we could function the buttons. You could use on-screen buttons or disable them and set up the buttons. Like for power menu, you could go ahead and set up what should come up when you hold the power menu, it will come up. Go back. And then the actual physical button on the phone that OnePlus has built in. Like for example, the home button, if you double tap it and you want to bring the voice search, it will do it, so double tap. So that's not working. Let's take a look at it again. Home button, and then we're going to press double tap. Oh, we don't have voice installed because we don't have GApps installed, so we'll do recent menu. Let's see if that works. So yeah, there you go. It works. So you could set up your custom action that you want from these physical buttons. That's generic from Cyanogen Mod, not a difference. Uh, additional buttons, what is this? Let's take a look at it. Swap buttons, swap the order of recent back end buttons, so what is this? So these are additional buttons they have added. It wasn't in their Cyanogen Mod. Um, other than that, it seems very generic to Android 7.1.1. And on, as you can see, the layout is just exact like Cyanogen Mod. They have the same setup, same menus and options. And as of now, it's still, as I told you, it's in the nightly mode. So obviously, this is like the seventh or the eighth version they released. So it's still like in the stage of developing. So obviously, you're going to find bugs and it's not going to be perfectly stable. So wait for that until they become stable. And other than that, I think it's going to be a perfect operating system in the upcoming months since they have to polish up their bugs and make it stable. And until then, I'll also use it for a while and take a look at it and how it works. Everything like seems to be functioning fine because as I told you, I find it as exactly like being Cyanogen Mod. And I, I will test the battery out and I'll let you guys know about that also. And other than that, that's the whole review of installing Lineage OS and having it work. So as I told you, I'll go ahead and post the proper GApps links in the description and everything should be working for you. If you're planning to use it, it should be okay. But as I told you, it's in the nightly mode. So it's gonna take for like a couple of months for them to make it a stable version. Let's take a cam Let's take a look at the camera really quick. So I'll load the camera up, deny, and let me pick it up really quick. And as you can see, this is the camera hall they have on here. It's working properly. Yeah, it's working, not bad. So it is working properly. Let's take a zoom in of this. Yeah, the focus is working. So yeah, as I, as I told you, it's still in the nightly bills. Give it a time. And I don't think I'll, I'll be using it, but like not as my daily driver. I'll give it some more time until they release like a big change up in the log and like look at the logs they've been posting and keep up with them. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them for us. And we'll go ahead and answer you back. Any problems with the installation, do let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.